Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this is uh, this lesson's on line plots. Uh, this will be lesson 12.5. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com. And if you get a chance, would you like this video? It helps encourage me to keep building these videos for you guys. So here's our common core strand, you guys. So um, our essential question is how uh, can we make and interpret line plots with fractional data? So we have a couple of examples here. Here's the first one here. The data shows the lengths of rocks in Trinity's collection. For an art project, he wants to know how many rocks are longer than a quarter of an inch. Okay, so here's, um, here's some rock lengths in Trinity's uh, rock collection right here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, use what's called a line plot uh, to help solve this. A line plot is a graph that shows the frequency of the data along a number line. So we're going to go ahead and make a line plot here. So I just moved that up there so we can have some room. You'll see I'm moving stuff all around. I only have this small little window right here. So uh, so let's go ahead and make a line plot of this data right here. Okay, And this is in Trinity's Rock Collection. So first of all, let's order the data from least to greatest. So smallest to biggest and complete the tally table right here. So I see some one-fourths. There's some three-fourths and some four-fourths right there. So we're going to order the data from least to greatest. So the one-fourth is the smallest. So I'll highlight that one first. And what I'll do is I'll put a tally mark. A tally mark is just like a little a dash, almost like an L or almost like a one. But a tally mark, just we're just labeling it so um, uh, it counts for uh, that one-fourth was labeled right there. Okay, so I do see another, it said from least to greatest. So I do see this one. This one's still uh, another smaller number than all the other ones. So that one will be the next number. And notice uh, there's two one-fourths here. So there's two tally marks here to represent both one-fourths. Okay, I still have another one-fourth right there. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now we have three tally marks. Okay, the next biggest number is this three-fourths right there. So we'll go ahead and put a tally mark right there for the three-fourths. And here they are. We're just putting them in order right here. And then I have four-fourths. So I'm going to put a tally mark for that four-fourths and for the next four-fourths also. Okay, now we've done that. And we've, uh, uh, we've completed the tally table right here. And this tally table is going to help us build uh, our, our number plot here. So, or a line plot. So, uh, let's label the fraction lengths on the number line from least to greatest. Okay, so here's a number line right here. And there's no numbers here, so we're going to put uh, the fraction numbers that go right here. So, the, since there's four spots right here, and our smallest length is one-fourth, and our biggest length is four-fourths, then we'll let this one be one-fourth. This will be two-fourths, even though that's not in there, which is a half. Two-fourths is the same as a half. This will be three-fourths, and this will be four-fourths right there, okay? All right, and then uh, we're going to plot an X above the number line for each data point, and then we'll write a title for the line plot. So this is my line right here, and we're going to plot some point. We're going to plot X's above it. So above the one-fourth, we'll plot three X's going above it. Above the three-fourths, we'll plot just one X, and above the four-fourths, we'll plot two X's above it. And they're going to stack on top of each other right here, so it helps us see which one has the most. There are no two-fourths there, so there won't be any X's right there. So there's that right there. And then it says uh, write a title. So what we'll do is I'll slide this down and put a title underneath it. And the title is going to be uh, the length of rocks in Trinity's collection. And always put your units. In this case, it's in inches. You know, if it says in feet, I think the next one is going to be in miles. Always put it in units so we know what this means right here. This is one-fourth of an inch. This is two-fourths of an inch, three-fourths of an inch and so on. This is four-fourths of an inch, okay? All right, so there's three one-fourths, there's no two-fourths, there's one three-fourths, and there's uh, uh, two uh, two-fourths. So the question was, how many rocks are longer than a quarter of an inch? Well, look at this right here. Here's a quarter of an inch right here. I see uh, one, two, three. There's three rocks uh, bigger than a quarter of an inch. Now down here, you can also use the tally table to see that here's a quarter of an inch, and here's more than a quarter of an inch. There's three more tallies down here that's uh, more than a quarter of an inch. But this lesson wants us to build a line plot right here. So to build a line plot, we got to do a tally table first right here. Okay, later on you'll be uh, discovering how to do what's called dot plots. And it's the same as this. Instead of putting X's, you'll put dots right here. Okay, but to answer the question, there were these three rocks that are longer than a quarter of an inch. So that was the question right there. So. How many rocks were in Trinity's collection? Well, we can use any one of our pieces that we put together. You know, when we arranged them in order, here they are right here. So there's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, okay? Or you can use our line plot to count the X's, one, two, three, four, five, six, or you can use our tally table and count our tallies. There's six rocks in Trinity's collection right there. So what's the difference in length between the longest rock and the shortest rock in Trinity's collection? Well, it's easiest once we have the line plot right here. The longest rock is four-fourths. The shortest rock is one-fourth. So four-fourths minus one-fourth is three-fourths, okay? So we only subtract the numerator four minus one, okay? So the fourths just tells us how big of an inch. It's one-fourth of a size of an inch, but this is three-fourths. So the difference between the big one and the small one is three-fourths of an inch right there, okay? All right, so explain how we label the numbers on the number line in step two. Okay, well, um, they gave us uh, the number line, and there was four tick marks there. So since there were four tick marks, then we started with the least value, which is one-fourth, and label the tick marks in fourths until we got all the way up to four-fourths right there. So one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths right here. Okay, so that's how we can answer that question. Okay, here's another one, you guys. Some of the students in Mr. Bullock's class walk to school. The data shows the distance and the, these students walk. What, is the, what distance do most students walk? And we're going to make a line plot to show the data. Okay, so here's the distance right here. Now these are in miles, so we have to represent that when we make a title to say it's in miles. So, so this is distance students walk to school in miles. Okay, so um, uh, step one is we're going to order the data from least to greatest distances and complete the tally tables. Okay, so I see some, uh, the smallest uh, one I see is this one-fourth, so it's one-fourth of a mile right here. And then I don't see any two-fourths, but two-fourths are the same as one-half. So one-half, uh, there's some students that walk a half, and then there's some students that walk three-fourths of a mile right here. So let's go ahead and uh, order them from least to greatest. So the smallest one I see is this one-fourth right here. And so we'll go ahead and label it right here. So distance in miles, one-fourth, and we'll put one tally mark right there. Okay, I don't see any more one-fourth, so the next smallest number is a half. So we'll go ahead and pick this half right here. And so there's a tally mark that represents that. And there's another one half. So there's two one halves. So there's two tally marks right there. And then we have all these three fourths. So let's go ahead and start putting those in and labeling those. So there's one three fourths. And it says to rearrange them in least to greatest. So we have to list the other ones because uh, there's other students that are walking that. So um, so another three-fourths, another three-fourths, another three-fourths, okay? And then now we're going to go ahead and make a line plot for this data right here. So just move that up up there so we can save some room. So step two, label the fraction lengths on the number line from least to greatest. So here there's only three spaces right here. And then so there's only three different uh, distances that they're walking. One-fourth, one-half, three-fourths. So let's go ahead and put that right there, one-half. Uh, I'm sorry, one-fourth, one-half, and three-fourths. Okay, and then we're going to put X's above that. Okay, so put an X above the number line for the data points and write a title for the points. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that down here. So above the one-fourth, there's going to be one X. Above the one-half, there's going to be two X's, and they're going to be stacked on top of each other. And then above the three-fourths, looks like most kids walk uh, three-fourths of a mile to school. Okay, so there's, and then the title is Distance Students Walk to School in Miles. Okay, so this is pretty much what this says, Distance Students Walk to School. Don't forget to put uh, the units. This is in miles. So this one-fourth would represent one-fourth of a mile. Okay, the last one, the one-fourth, represented one-fourth of an inch. So we need to know what's it talking about right there. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. So most students, how many, so most students walk, how many most students walk? Well, most students walk three-fourths of a mile to school. Okay, so three-fourths of a mile. All right, how many more students walk three-fourths of a mile than one-half of a mile to school? Well, I need that uh, uh, line plot again. So how many more students walk three-fourths of a mile? Well, there's four students that walk three-fourths of a mile. There's two students that walk one-half of a mile. So there's two more students that walk uh, three-fourths of a mile than one-half of a mile. Okay, um, uh, what is the difference between the longest distance and the shortest distance that students walk? Well, the longest distance is three-fourths. The shortest distance is one-fourth, so we subtract three-fourths minus one-fourth is two-fourths. Remember, we only subtract the numerators, and two-fourths is the same as one-half of a mile, okay? All right, what if a new student joins Mr. Bullock's class who walks one-fourth of a mile uh, to school? 
how would the line plot change? Well, what would happen is, is that there would be an additional x above the 1 4. So let's just go ahead. If we have new student added and he walked 1 4, then we just put an additional x right up on top right there. And that just helps us uh, visually see um, uh, students, what students walk to what at uh, the school. All right, you guys, take care.